Who's that? <laughs> you look, you look. <laughs> Jocelyn and I are off to a running start at Mother Tucker's Antiques and Collectibles in Ephrata, Pennsylvania. Look at all the salt and pepper shakers. Look. We're going to look at the top shelf. I didn't look at the bottom of all of them, but judging by the looks and style of them, I am going to guess that they were made in Japan. I think I did pick up one and it said made in occupied Japan. So these are probably, I'm going to guess, from the 40s and 50s. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I like her dress. She's a fancy dress. All right, and the bottom shelf. Look at the bottom. This is Mexican boy and girl made in occupied Japan. And let's see this one. Patent pending. They're so cute. This is the best sauerkraut, silver floss. You can still buy it, um, this. At least you can in Pennsylvania. So this is an old tin, but this is the, <clears throat> we eat pork and sauerkraut and New Year's, and this is the kind my mother-in-law swears by. And this is just the rest of the display of salt and pepper shakers they had against the back wall here. I like the style of these birds. They were $8. Nice. These are neat. Retro pair of butterfly gravel art. $115 for the pair. And here's another one, $48. Nice. And here's another one. That's cool too. I like that one. I like the colors. That one is 48 also. That's neat. It's like a, a hanging planter. That's neat. I stopped to film this little section of dolls because the doll in the purple, I think my sister had that when we were little, looked very familiar to me. Here is an orange Lucite napkin holder for $8. I really like the color. And then next to it was a pitcher and glass set from Blendo that was $44. And in the same booth they had a face mug. Look at that. <laughs> What a way to start your morning. And it was signed Cobb 1980 and it was $15. They had these signed, uh, I think they just called them signed salt and pepper shakers in a nice blue, white, and green color way. They were $25. Let's see, yep, just signed flower salt and pepper shakers. And then I'm showing you some glasses there are those, we saw those jelly glasses at another antique mall. This was a cute mug. I love tea. And the owl mugs were pretty cute too. I really like the color of this tea light. This is Ellie Smith. Kind of a light green, minty green color. And then behind it was some more Ellie Smith in the blue glass. And that bowl was $42. And then here's some art. <laughs> okay, this is back at the $5 booth. I did kind of go out of order because of the way I was editing the video. So against this wall is our friend Tommy's booth. He has a booth at Mad Hatter that everything's $5 as well. So I was checking to see what he had at um, in this booth here. A little cup. And then... Um, of course, I wanted to see the trinket boxes here. 
This is Empress Josephine's Rose Garden. And then another little trinket box, maybe a leftin, maybe, from the looks of it. He had some peanut butter glasses. He had birds, and that's a wood thrush and a pheasant. There's the flowers. I like the colors. I like all the different colors. It would be cute if you could pair up a, you know, a bluebird glass, and then you could have the flower glass that's blue. Make a nice little set for yourself. Ooh, those are neat. Such a neat blue. Those are the lids to refrigerate your dishes. And here we'll continue to look in Tommy's booth. A little chef surrounded by vegetable salt and pepper shakers. Here is a vintage Las Vegas ashtray. This was in a different booth now. This was adjacent to Tommy's booth. It's easy to remember because the price tags have different names on them. <laughs> I'm cheating. <laughs> it's hard to remember where things were. That's so cute. That's so cute. It's a retro lion decanter. That's so cute. Look at him. He has a bone in his mouth. Adorable. So the little cups would go on these hooks here. That's cute. Eight dollars. That's so cute. That's made in Japan. That's <laughs> so cute. I wonder what the cups look like. Here's an ashtray. Atlantic City. These are pretty. That red. Look at that red. That's nice. Pair of ruby. I like those. Those are neat. Oh look, another Las Vegas plate. And here's a Fenton Silvercrest. I once found uh, that planter at Goodwill. It's made in Japan. It's Japan Redware. hair receiver in the back. Cute. There's some more salt pepper shakers. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. All right, let's start with this one. This does look like Ceramic Art Studio. These, yes. Boston had a whole bunch of these just recently. And that's a pair of $16 for the salt and pepper shakers. Oh, those are cute. Cool ducks. And look at these mice with their giant ears. That's adorable. That's Japan Redware. You can see on the bottom. That coloring, that coloring there. Oh, I have these. I have these for sale right now. These are Avon. I was standing, as I wrote earlier, right in front of the air conditioner unit, so I'm trying to give us a break on all the noise, the background noise. So uh, here's another pair of salt and pepper shakers that uh, grabbed my attention here because of the gold, and I thought this was a cute idea, the candlestick. And on this second shelf, nothing really grabbed my attention, and then on the bottom, there was this little duck that had fallen over, and then when I picked it up, I noticed that the holes to shake them out were on the chest. Here, I'll, you'll see it right there. Isn't that interesting? That's an interesting design. Intelligent. I'm working hard. I am. I got to get the shot. <laughs> Moving on to another booth, this little figurine was made in Japan, little baby. There I am looking very serious in the mirror, try not to knock anything over. <laughs> Hello! And then look what I found. 
Look at this. So I decided to take the ginormous Talavera Pottery turtle home. <laughs> he weighs so much. He's so big. That is definitely going to be something I need to list and then pack it up and get it ready so I have the exact shipping option for you. And here I am just looking at the rest of this little booth. Had a cute little vintage image of a maybe an angel in front of a hugging cat and dog. Very 60s, 70s. That was $8. And I think I went in here because there were Garfield things. And Jenny likes Garfield. She has a huge collection of Garfield comic books. And so that's what grabbed my attention. There was some Garfield plush in here. There was this little figurine. This is Arlene. It's a character from Garfield. And then... Um, these figurines, I went sold one of these to a lady and then I mailed it out and the same day that I mailed it out, she said that her daughter bought it by accident and it's scary looking and she, did, she didn't want it sent to her house. I was like, I'm sorry, it's out of my hands. It's already on the way to your house. So some people like them, some people don't. This was very cute little vintage skunk with fur. It was ten dollars and then the little angel boy figurine in the back I like the style of that and then I did some research on the name and it is called Bee of Hawaii or sometimes it says BB of Hawaii and this one they, they look very similar don't they but this one was made in Japan It's a 1960s bear figurine for $7. Pink and white basket with rope handle. It has like a face in there, it looks like. That's really cool. It's a Japan bird wall pocket with raised design on there. Moriyagi. Pikes Peak Garden of the Gods, Colorado. Four dollars. That's cute. He's a decanter too. Now he has his cups. It's Toby mug. a decanter too. He's ten dollars and he has little cups also. I really thought that this piece was neat. I think they called it a smoking stand. You could tell that it was handmade, but it was really nice quality. I like the little Western touches to it. Very Southwestern. I, I thought it was really cool looking. I like the little boots and horse. Seven poodles for $30. Who 
Those are cool. I can focus here. I like textured. Tilso. And here we have a Tilso creamer and a teapot without its lid. How cute are those? I love them. And then this little figurine is a Hagen Reneker figurine. It was a Sharpay with a balloon around its paw for $9. And I think that this is a Joseph original based mostly on the eyes because it looks like the same eyes of other Joseph originals so that's what I'm guessing this set was hundred and fifteen dollars so I carefully walked away from that and took my angel and here are the two things that I picked up on our trip to mother Tucker's antiques and collectibles in Ephrata thank you so much for watching I'll see ya